I'm Donnie Dunn, and today I'm training with my longtime friend Marcus Rivera, who's also a trained killer, a Muay Thai fighter. Let's go. All right, guys, Saturday morning, back at it. As always, we never miss a day. Today's a special day for me. They're all special days, I guess, in their own way. But today I'm training with a longtime friend who I've known since high school, Marcus Rivera, who uh, has taken up Muay Thai fairly recently from what I can gather on his posts on Facebook. And today we're gonna train together. He's on his own journey and doing it his own way. So it'll be nice to have him come into my world for a little while and see what I'm all about. And in the process, we're going to talk to Marcus and learn what he's been up to and learn what he's all about. The message here is clear, people. It doesn't matter how you get it done. It just matters that you're getting it done. I'll be posting some updates throughout the day. Let's go. Who I found, the trained Muay Thai killer, yeah. Marcus Rivera. How long have you been training now with that? Oh, wow, I'd say about six, seven months. No. How's it going? Not too bad. I mean, when I first started, I was a little bit roughly about 240 pounds. And since then, I've dropped about 20, 25 pounds. So you look pretty good, man. I'll tell you that. You know, I'm slowly but surely getting there. Now I just got to take it to that next level, thus you. Yeah. I'll tell you, Marcus has seen me through many phases. In high school, I was tipping the scales. Never as high as 330, but uh, I was a pretty big dude back then. So... Um, it's nice to know that I can inspire people, and Marcus has seen my journey all the way through on Facebook, so it's pretty cool to have him here now. We're gonna beat his fucking ass today. Like, that, that, listen, there's actually my sister and one thinks that I'm gonna throw up, so. Really? That's, that's like my goal is to not throw up. Well, we'll see what we can do. Danielle, <laughs> I'm gonna give you my best. So we're starting warm up with tens, which is 10 cardio minutes. We alternate with three exercises, then go back to 10 minutes of cardio. Three more exercises, back to 10 minutes of cardio, and we'll see how Marcus is doing. Marcus is about four feet away from me, and him being a trained Muay Thai fighter, he could probably kick me in the head from that distance. So we're gonna try not to piss him off. First test, Marcus and I are gonna do bent over rows. We're gonna do 100 reps on each arm. Let's go. Yes. Marcus getting after it. How many reps, buddy? 500. That'll get you to 50? 75. You're up to 75 already. Motherfucker, I'm at 50. How's that feel not stopping? Alternating. Look at that, the bead of sweat off his nose. Right there. That hurts when you do it that way, huh? Yes, it does. <laughs> Here we go. Mark is absolutely crushing it. I would have preferred that he wore a muscle shirt. How many are you up to now, buddy? This is so far, about 25. All right, let me get in there, will you? So, Mark, when did we officially meet? Was it Nori Kai? Freshman year, maybe? Actually, no. It would have been. Um, we definitely were talking at North. No. Middle, East Middle. Because we had. Um, oh my God. What's our, what was our math teacher's name? Mr. Caesar. Mr. Caesar. Yeah. But are you able to survive a nut punch yet? Or a nut kick? Surprisingly, I haven't gotten a nut shot. I have, however, gotten about three or four liver kicks. Oh shit. And those, those are hilarious because... Those make you second guess your life, huh? I, the first one I ever got hit with, I, it, it was just kind of like a glancing blow. Yeah. And I thought, oh man, I'm fine. I'm just gonna walk right through it, keep motoring on. The moment I took my first step, I just started going down. <laughs> You're using five pound weights, right? Now you see guys around here try to lug 50, 60 pounds, all that shit to do shoulders. 
Tell me how five pounds feels doing that. Do one, do a couple reps of this. So people, these are shoulder rotations. Marcus is doing side raises and front raises, keeping constant motion on the shoulder. He's using five pounds. I don't go any, go any heavier than tens. Marcus, what's that feel like? Now, when I told you when I told you fives at first, what were you thinking? I was like, oh, five pounds? Oh, yeah, it's not that, you know, it's five pounds. It's really not even a weight. It's just constant movement. Yeah. Shoulders. Rotation. So honestly, it feels like I'm carrying almost one of like those little balls you see like in the World's Strongest Men competition that you have to put on the floor. Right. It feels like that, and it's only it's 10 pounds. Uh, six exercises, 30 minutes of cardio. I'm in my fourth set of cardio, and this son of a bitch wants more. Are you affiliated with the same uh, school or training as Gabrielle Gonzaga? Because I've seen some pictures there. Have you met Gabrielle before? Yes, I have. Is yep. he intimidating in person? As intimidating in person as he is when he's killing people in the octagon. I just, I have, funny enough, I have a story. I was, um, this was right before he started uh, training yeah. to go against Mirko Kokrov for the second time in Poland. And so he had come in to do some sparring. Right. And no one else, he came in and everybody else was kind of partnered up. So I didn't have anyone. This was maybe about like a month or two in. And we kind of catch eyes and I'm like, oh hey, do you want to spar? He's like, yeah, sure. Wait a minute, you asked Gonzaga if you wanted to spar. Yeah, if you wanted to spar. Did you know who he was at the time? Yeah, I knew who he was at the time. He had introduced himself. And I, I, so you willingly wanted to spar with this fucking animal? I kid you not. Every punch I threw, every kick I threw, he either caught or answered when I did connect. How was the answer? It was insane. Yeah. Like, when I hit him, I, I shit you not, it was like hitting a wall. It's just, he's so solid yeah. that you think like you're landing these shots and he's just walking right through them. Right. And you know, being two months in, I was just like, oh my God, like, is, is this how it's always going to be? Here to get people, Marcus and I, we're going to finish off with leg extensions. Thanks everyone for watching. Marcus hung in there with me all day. Mm -hmm. This Muay Thai killer crushed it, and it's because of his training. But he's committed to fitness, I'm committed to fitness. All you gotta do is move and keep going. Thanks for watching.